center. So both of the spellings of center um, sound the same. They are just spelled differently. Um, and this is a Greek word root that means middle. Your first word is center, which means the middle. So the picture, in the picture, the red dot is in the center of the gray circle. It means the middle. Your next word is central, which means that it is located in the center of a thing or place. In this map, you see this brown area right here. This is central Pennsylvania. This is where we live. It is located in the center of the state. Central Pennsylvania is located in the center or the middle of Pennsylvania. Epicenter is your next word. This is the part of the Earth's surface directly above the focus of an earthquake. So on this map, you can see there's some towns, okay, Salt Lake City, Portland, um, and Los Angeles. And then right here is the epicenter. So you can see that this would be the part of the Earth's surface directly above the focus of an earthquake. Next is hypocenter, which is related to the epicenter. I think this picture does a good job of explaining both of them. This is the focus of an earthquake. So this is the part, a hypocenter is the part under the ground. So in this picture, here's the fault plane. This is where the earthquake would happen under the ground. This is the hypocenter, okay? And then uh, directly above that on the surface of the earth would be the epicenter. So the hypocenter and the epicenter are related to each other. The hypocenter is under the ground. It's the focus of the earthquake. And the epicenter is the, I'm going to flip back to that slide. The epicenter is the part, is on, it is on the earth's surface, directly above the focus or the hypocenter of an earthquake. Concentric is when two or more objects share the same center point. So in this picture, this would be... It is a concentric design. This would be the middle, and then all these objects share the same center point. So I would say that this is a concentric design. Next is eccentric. So this is when you tend to act in strange or unusual ways. Um, it's kind of difficult because eccentric or center means middle, and this doesn't necessarily in our minds go with it. So in this picture, this is Abner the eccentric. That's this guy's name. He's an entertainer. Um, and I would say that if this is how I would rem remember it. If you are eccentric, you are probably the center of attention. You probably act in some strange or unusual ways, which means that you're probably the center of attention. Eccentric, center of attention. That's how I would remember it. Next is concentered. So this means to draw or direct attention to a common center or draw to draw or direct to a common center. So I would say that these arrows can center around the blue circle. Um, you could also think of it this way. I need to concenter my thoughts so I can focus. I need to draw my attention, direct my thoughts to a common center, which would be focus. Or you could think of it as the hotels were concentered around the amusement park. They all draw, drew or directed attention to the amusement park. So I think the picture in my mind is the amusement park in the middle and then all the hotels around the outside. Concentrate is your next word and it means to bring or direct toward a common center or objective. Think about to concentrate it means to focus your mind on a task at hand concentrate, thinking about centering those thoughts. So for homework, um, you have your paper on the right, or sorry, on the left, there are two boxes and two lines. You're going to choose one of your spelling words that we talked about and write each one of those words in the left-hand box. And then on the lines in the right-hand box, you're going to write a sentence that goes along with that word.